The fraud and corruption trial against former Etegwini Mayor Zandile Gumete is underway in the Durban High Court in, uh, today. Gumete and 21 others are accused of defrauding the city of over 300 million rand. Let's get an update of what transpired in court today from senior reporter Dasin Tata. Dasin, good afternoon. Welcome to today. So what transpired in court today? Well, Brad, Dan, let me tell you that tonight when I go to bed, I'll be thinking about the blue file, the post-it, and the bundle of documents. And that's because those were three of the terms that came up several times during the cross-examination of Sean Hitler today. Hitler is with the city's Integrity and Investigation Unit. It's part of the Etiquini Municipality's investigative arm. So he's been on the stand for a few days now from last week, in fact, and his cross-examination by Kumede's lawyer, advocate Jay Naidu, continued for the better part of today. And just right at the end of today's session, that was when Griffiths Madonsela took over. That is the lawyer for some of the other accused. But by and large, it was about that process. That is what advocate Jay Naidu has been doing. He's been painstakingly trying to chip away at the very basic part of how this complaint came to be. So you'll recall from our last interaction that it all started when this uh, anonymous complainant dropped off this, these documents and on it was that post-it that I'm talking about. And it really just pointed out to whoever was going to get that envelope that there were apparently irregularities around how these tenders were awarded, as well as the fact that some were allegedly not paid for services, or rather that there were payments made for services that were not rendered to the municipality. So that formed the basis of this claim. So this investigator, uh, Sean Hitler, was looking at that document. So essentially he was the first person who was handling this complaint. And he said that just by looking at the documents, he'd already seen a few discre discrepancies, one of which was the time frame in which this work was meant to be carried out. It was meant to be three months, but it had gone on for six months. So throughout the course of today, during that cross-examination, Advocate Jay Naidu several times he pointed out to to Hitler that he felt that the process had not been followed or there could have been a different process that had been followed. It didn't have to be outsourced to IFS. That's ultimately who conducted the investigation. In fact, at some point, Advocate Jay Naidu brazenly saying that if this matter had first been raised internally with the disciplinary board, that would have allowed this money that was being siphoned out of the municipality to have been stopped. So he claimed, and he actually laid the, the blame uh, squarely at the, at the doorstep of the CIIU by saying that they had not acted appropriately. Obviously, the witness in this matter from the CIIU denied that, and he said that they had followed the due process, and that's why the investigation was conducted externally. Thanks, Dustin Tata. I hope you have better things to do tonight than think about the blue file, post it, and bundle of documents. But we appreciate your comprehensive uh, overview of what transpired in court in this uh, court case that involves the former Etegwini mayor, Zandile Gumede, and 21 others.